today I'm going to be installing the adapter plate on my truck. Uh, first thing I've got to do is cut this ear off so the starter can clear. Now I've already scribed a line with, uh, with the cutting disc so I have something to follow while I'm cutting. If you don't do that a lot of times you'll end up with an angled cut or something that you didn't, you didn't want. So here we go. Now I'm all dirty. Look at that. All right, so we have this piece cut off for starter clearance, um, but we also have to modify the starter apparently. So this is my 6.0 starter that I got off of eBay. And if you look right here, there's a piece that uh, doesn't really do anything, um, but I'm gonna have to trim that off in order for it to clear. I'm not real happy about that because if I ever have to change this starter somewhere, I'm gonna have to figure out how to either break that off with a hammer or cut it or something. And it's aluminum and it's cast. So if I go to hit it with a hammer, it'll probably break somewhere else and not where I want it to. Um, but if you look right there, I have a little line that I drew on there. That's what I gotta cut off. Um, and probably easiest for me to go use my belt grinder in the other room, so I'm gonna go do that. All right, so I have just modified this starter. If I can show it to you here. Uh, I just cut this lip off. That's actually more than needs to be cut off, but it was the easiest way to cut it. It shouldn't affect the uh, strength of the starter at all. All right, I'll set this right here. Hopefully it stays there. Didn't fall on the ground and break. That would be bad. And let me grab the adapter plate and a bolt. So here is our adapter plate. And you just line it up on the dowels. It almost stays on there. All right, there's one bolt. Hmm, I have to clean that one out. All right. Starter. Let's see if that fits in. Look at that. Like a glove. So we're back. It's a few days later. Um, I had to wait for a rear main seal and some other parts. But I've modified the plate. Um, I had to bore this hole out a little bit to get it to fit um, while I was off camera. 
I torqued all these down with thread locker, uh, replaced the rear main seal, and then I just stuck the starter in there so I could see what I was going to do for a downpipe. Uh, now we're going to install the flywheel and clutch and flex plate. we're good to go now so the transmission is the next thing to go on um, that is going to have to wait for a couple of days I still have to modify the tail housing of the transmission uh, to fit my MP205 and I'll be doing a uh, short video on that too so until next time this was Philo's Garage thanks for watching